Hey guys, welcome back to GeekJ, where we make tech, tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we're updating our FSR 4.0.2 and 3.1.5 guide from my last video. AMD's new FSR 2 SDK split the app scaler and frame generation binaries, so basically we've got more files to swap, not only for Stalker 2, but also other games like Monster Hunter Wilds and basically any game that follows the new or newer naming scheme by AMD. So let's level up our games. So as you guys might remember, in my last video, I just swapped the app scaler binary for Stalker 2. So now AMD decoupled it and uh, we need to uh, go back to those same folders in the Fidelity FX SDK 2 archive, just like we did last time. If you haven't downloaded the SDK yet, I will have a link as always in the description below and it's a direct github link we just need to extract it just like before and find uh three particular files and i'm going to show you right now on my screen so after we've extracted the new fidelity fx sdk version 2 just open up this folder go into kits fidelity fx bin and here we have all the newer files. So in the previous video, we just uh, copied over the app scaler and then we named it to FidelityFX underscore DX12.dll. So we, we removed basically the app scaler wording only. But um, through my recent research, what we need to do is basically make a copy of the loader uh, file over here. So AMD underscore fidelity effects underscore loader underscore dx 12dll I'm gonna copy this, then hit paste right over here, and we will have a new file that just adds the dash copy.dll at the end. And this is the one we need to rename to uh, the generic fidelity effects. So right click on it, rename again. And uh, obviously we're gonna delete the dash copy part at the end and then the underscore part until the L part from the loader word hit backspace once and we have AMD underscore fidelity effects underscore DX 12 dot DLL. So from here on out, you will have to grab this file, the AMD Fidelity FX DX 12.dll and copy it over to your game along with the frame generation uh, DX 12.dll and the app scaler DX 12.dll. And if we don't do that, the game will immediately crash. So the loader is acting as a calling agent for the other binaries that the game is going to be using. So we need all three files, even if our game doesn't use, for example, frame generation. We have to have both of those other DLLs in our game folder. So just to update, Initially, Stalker 2, because this is what I used in my first video regarding this new uh, FSR SDK. Let's go into our Stalker 2 uh, folder, then Stalker 2 folder again, then go into binaries, Win64. And as you can see, we have the newer AMD Fidelity FX we copied over the last time. So what we need to do is basically grab our newly created uh, AMD Fidelity FX DX 12.dll, then grab the frame generation DX 12 DLL as well, and the app scaler uh, DX 12.dll. Then right click and copy. Then we're going to go back to our Win64 uh, folder of Stalker 2, right click and paste. And then we're going to say replace the file in destination because it has obviously the same name and uh, we're gonna refresh and as you can see now we have all three of those files present so the amd underscore fidelity 
fx underscore dx12.dll, which is basically the loader.dll, okay? And then we have both the frame generation and app scaler DLLs present in this folder. And uh, basically what this means is that Stalker 2 is now gonna take advantage not only of the app scaler uh, part for 3.1.5 in my case because I'm on a 6800 XT or 4.0.2 for people that are on 9000 uh, series cards by AMD but it's also going to be able to use the newer frame generation algorithms. So let's try it out. Let's start up our Stalker 2 for example. As always, I'm going to go with my Mod Organizer 2 because I have Says Living Zone Complete installed. And by the way, you can find that video up here as well. Just like my previous video uh, regarding the FSR SDK 2, which you can also find up here. I've loaded up our save game. So let's scroll down. As you can see, we are using OptiScaler in this specific case. So we have the DLSS over here selected, but it doesn't really matter because it's still using FSR. So if we uh, tap on the insert key on our keyboard over here, you're gonna see uh, it is using the DLSS input as the initial DLL, but we are using FSR. 3.1.5 as the app scaler as you can see over here and uh, basically frame generation is on and it's using the newer algorithm so yeah also as you can see if we uh, tap on our keyboard the alt shift and l uh, i think around five times you can see we are able to use the anti-lag 2 which is very very helpful uh, when we are using any type of frame generation. But yeah, you can see uh, it's pretty smooth and uh, we are able to take advantage of all of the new technologies over here. Okay, let's quit out of this game. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward and easy in my opinion we just rename a different uh file and then we copy over three files and we're pretty much done and we are taking advantage not only of the app scaler part but the frame generation part that is now decoupled from uh the main branch for some reason by amd kind of complicates some things and uh dlss swapper uh developer uh, needs to update this. I don't know if it's even possible for him to uh, make this work for a lot of the new games uh, unless he rewrites a lot of the code. But anyways, uh, we kind of have to go the manual way, but it still is pretty straightforward in my opinion. But it doesn't have to be only for Stalker 2, so uh, let's use another game. We can go uh, with any game that uses the newer naming scheme by AMD. So let's use, for example, uh, let's say Monster Hunter Wilds. So let's go ahead and open up that folder. So yeah, if you own the game through Steam, I don't know if it's available anywhere else on PC, you go into your Steam apps, common Monster Hunter Wilds, and basically, uh, this is where the AMD Fidelity FX DX12 DLL is located by default on this game. I'm not going to be using OptiScaler. We're just going to do it natively for this game. So let's go back into our bin folder. Uh, so we've already uh, created the copy of the loader and renamed it. So just copy again uh, those three files, the AMD Fidelity uh, DX12 DLL we renamed and created, then the frame generation dx12.dll and the app scaler uh, dx12.dll, and then go into our game folder over here, right click and paste, and replace the file in destination. And as you can see, if we uh, refresh, we have all three files present over here. So AMD Fidelity FX dx12.dll, frame generation 
and upscaler and uh, we're gonna go ahead and run the game let me exit out of re framework if you want to watch a video on how to install re framework uh, that really has helped with the performance of my game and uh, basically alleviated all crashes I had you can check out this video up here so basically before we even load up our game we can go into options and then go into the graphics settings and as you can see it says app scaling super resolution imaging and it already says uses AMD FSR 3.1.5 so we are on the latest version and then if we go to frame generation it has selected the frame generation it's already on and basically i play on the native aa option and uh, that's pretty much it i'm gonna start the game and see how it looks so yeah the game looks pretty nice as you can see it could be worth looking into frame generation is working on the uh bottom left you can see the steam overlay over here we are at about 100 fps as the base fps uh on average is around 45 to 50 fps so we're around about those numbers it's a pretty good experience pretty smooth gameplay and uh yeah the new app scaler looks pretty pretty good I don't see any issues with uh, the waterfalls and the waters and stuff which uh, were kind of problematic in the initial uh, or shipped versions of FSR in this game but yeah everything seems to be working perfectly fine So basically for all of these games we just overwrite and boom we have the latest FSR upscaler and frame generation. Pretty easy stuff. And yeah we pretty much get smoother action in every game that supports the newer naming scheme by AMD. So yeah that's it gamers. Update FSR with a new uh, 2.0 SDK for any game and it will be using 4.0. 0.2 for RX 9000 cards and for anything older we're going to be using the 3.1.5 in your version of FSR and we've shown here that it works with Stalker 2 and Master Hunter Wilds just as basic examples you can grab the SDK from GitHub as always you know where you can find the links below if this boosted your setup smash that like button subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell to never miss another geek day video drop a comment with your game of choice stay geeky and i'll see you in the next one guys Bye 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 bye